if you use the nuts I'm using, they're particularly good. Like, it's almost like we've come up with the solution to make these perfect. So, um, all of the things that I'm going to use, we use all of the time. I've got my little board here. All of the things we use all of the time. So, don't got to worry about using things that we don't normally have in the house or anything like that. So, everything is here. Okay, so, um, give me one second. Give me one second. Yes, okay, so, um, everything we use, we use all of the time. So, you don't got to worry about anything not, not being used that we normally use. So let's start. Are you ready? Hi everybody. Hello. Hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. So, um, I've got my neutral bullet. So for those of you that don't know, I've got my neutral bullet. So that's how I'm going to do this. So we're going to start as we mean to go on. You're going to need a bowl. Okay. So you're going to just need a bowl. We are going to start with our medulla dates. Now, anybody that doesn't know what a medulla date is, this is a medulla date. This is what a medulla date looks like. They're the really big fat dates that you get. Okay. So, they're the really, really big fat dates. Now, what you need to do first is take off the end, because they always have this, like, end on it, if they have got one. I think I've taken these off. Yeah, I've taken these off. And then, make sure that you have one that's got no pip in it. So take the pip out. Some of them don't have pips in, but if you do have pips in, you need to take them out, okay? So make sure that you take the pips out. It's not a big deal, but they won't buzz. Now, if you've got a proper blender, use your proper blender. If you have a neutral bullet like me, here's a tip for you. You're going to put the, I've done half of them already. You need a cup. I wrote it down. One cup. One cup's worth of medulla dates, okay? So, just wait there one second. I just need to get a towel. <laughs> realize I put my fingers in my mouth I can't be doing that so um we're gonna need one cup of medulla dates now here's a tip for you we're gonna use coconut oil in this get your coconut oil and put it in the microwave until it's soft like this okay so we are gonna use uh I've wrote it down three quarters of a cup of coconut oil but what you're gonna do for the medulla dates is if you're using a, um one of these which everybody seems to have nowadays if you put a tiny bit of coconut oil in the medulla dates first it will stop it sticking it will stop it sticking to the bottom of the um thing as much as usual so get the coconut oil in give it a bit of a shake <laughs> a shake and then give it a whirl come on and what it does is normally when i make it you'll notice that it all, all normally sticks to the top like that well this will just it won't stick it won't stick like that. It will actually work properly. <laughs> I've obviously got a pip in there. but um, Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to put that in a bowl, okay? Ooh -hoo. So get your medulla dates. Now remember that you've used a little bit of coconut oil already, so take that into consideration. So one cup... I'm <laughs> getting it out is the hardest bit. So one cup of medulla dates is going into this. Now, I bet you're like, oh, this, uh, they're so bad for you. There's so much sugar in medulla dates. Yeah, there are much sugar in medulla dates, but this is the only sugar that we're using. And it's natural sugar, and it's going to be fine. Now, if, like me, you've got a few pips in, just take them out. The great thing about these recipes is you can make them. You can put them in your bag for work. They'll keep you on track in the day. You can have them before you're just about to hit the gym. You can have them after the gym. Awesome job. That's why I love things like this. And not only that, if you've got kids out there, kids love to make stuff like this. They absolutely love it. So, here's my medulla dates right now. You need a cup of medulla dates. Might be a little bit more than a cup in here. But you need a cup of medulla dates. Can you see how soft they are? Because I put a bit of um, coconut oil in with them. So, that's what you're going to do, okay? So, that is the date part okay so remember we've already added a bit of um coconut oil in that as well so the ingredients that we have put together that we think work the best are pistachios which are amazing pecans which taste like cake anyway and uh, almonds those three things are the things that we think work the best with this recipe okay and you're gonna need 
a cup and a half of each, okay? So that's going to be a cup and a half of pistachios if you've got it. Now, if you want to reduce this recipe down just to a cup, then you can. Just do it. It's entirely up to you. So what I've done already is because I'm in a very small space, I've already put them um, aside. So, pistachios, almonds. So we're just going to pop them in. Now, I think these things work together particularly well. But it's entirely up to you. Now, if you're going to Thanksgiving and you take these along, people will absolutely freaking love you, believe me. So, mix notes, cup and a half. So, the cup and a half, when I say a cup and a half, I don't mean of each one, I mean a cup and a half of, of all of them total, okay? So, that's what I mean. I don't mean a couple of, and a half of each one. So, let me go over what we've done so far. We have got one cup of Medjola dates. And we've got a cup and a half in total of pistachios, almonds, and pecans, okay? So, get it in, your neutral bullet. Two pounds? I don't want two pounds, but I just use a cup. <laughs> okay, so, talk amongst yourself. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving in, um, in Canada soon, isn't it? I, think, I thought it was this weekend. Hmm, I'm pretty sure it is. So, one of the downsides of using your Nutribullet is um, everything gets a little bit sticky. One of the good sides is dead easy. Not much to wash, you know, same, same. So, we have got, it's smashed right now, so let me show you this. So, there we go. So you want pistachios, pecans, and almonds so we've got a cup and a half in total so if you like more pistachios use more pistachios if you like more almonds use more almonds if you like more more um pecans use more pecans but as long as you've got a cup and a half in total so we're going to add that to mm, our majula dates majula hi everybody so the dates are the only thing that's going to make sure that they're all done. If you're using a really, really, really high end blender, you'll be smashing this right now. Because I'm only using my Nutribullet, some of them haven't quite watched it as much as I'd like. So we're just going to put it back in for one second and smash these last few. So... For those of you that don't know, this is what we've done so far. We've got one cup of, um, why's that not working? <laughs> My neutral bullet has decided not to work, to stop working. I don't know why, one second. <clears throat> one minute. There you go. Hi. <laughs> Plug came out. Hi everyone, <coughs> so we've got one cup of medulla dates, <laughs> one and a half cups in total of um, pistachios, almonds and pecans, <sighs> stressful, it's been ages since I've done a live, a live food video, especially because I don't have a kitchen as well, so I'm kind of just winging it, so in here right now we've got one cup of medulla dates um, and one and a half cups of pecans, almonds, and the most amazing of all pistachios. Amazing. So, I'm going to mix these in just a little bit and then we'll get round to the rest of the stuff. So, once we've done this, you're going to add a cup, uh, sorry, half a cup of cacao powder. So, half a cup of cacao powder. So, you can get this, you can. You, you can get this everywhere. So if you don't have this yet, you need to start investing in it because it's amazing. So half a cup of cacao powder. If you don't like coconut too much, uh, if you don't like chocolate too much, which I'm not a massive fan of chocolate, um, just be a little bit careful with it. Don't put like loads and loads in because it will. It's such a strong flavour that it will overpower it just a little bit. So you know, go with how you feel. Go with how you feel about it. So we're going to mix that in. 
Awesome. <clears throat> awesome job. Let's talk amongst yourselves, just mixing it all together. So, last but not least. Hi, hi. <laughs> um. Oh, I forgot the salt. Wait there, I just need to get some salt. Mm. remembered everything but I hadn't so you need some Himalayan salt so that's the pink salt so if you've got that you need some Himalayan salt just add a little bit to taste so these are dead good if you've been training because obviously salt is going to help with your um, dehydration Himalayan salt is really good for you I'm not adding loads this is just a rubbish thing it's not, it's not like getting a lot out so I'm going to say probably about Two, two teaspoons of Himalayan salt, something like that. Not a lot, just to taste. Um, just play it by ear, really. Go with how you feel. Okay, so we're getting there now. It's getting pretty awesome in here. So, I might just add a tiny bit more. There's quite a lot of ingredients in here. So we've got one cup of Rajula dates. We've got one and a half cups in total of pistachios, pecans and almonds. About two tablespoons of Himalayan salt, maybe not even that. Just do it to taste. Try, try one tablespoon, uh, one teaspoon to start, and then just see how it goes. You can always add more if you need it. So that's that. What you are also going to need is orange extract. So you can get this from your um, baking aisle. You can get it from there, but this honestly is amazing it will it will make it taste amazing so add but make sure it is um pure orange extract okay you can't use fresh orange it doesn't taste the same we've tried it so make sure that you um just add a little bit of that maybe two ta two teaspoons maybe like that that much just to taste okay so put that in there remember all of these extras if you want it to taste more orangey if you want it to be a bit more salty you can, you can add a bit more. Some people really like salty things. You can always add a bit more, but just don't go too crazy at the beginning, okay? It's not what I want. So, mixing all this in. If you've got a mixer, by the way, a mixing bowl, do it in the mixer, just mix it all together. I just don't know how. You just gotta make sure that obviously if you add in orange and salt, that you really mix it well. Bring it down here. Really give it a good mix. I want you to make sure that they're almost like, like sticky when you put it all together. How's everyone doing? Happy Saturday, everybody. So, oh, let me show you how this is looking. This is how this is looking. So it's almost like a sticky, sticky um, consistency now. So I can make it into balls if I need to. Look, it's actually sticking together. So. Um, I'm going to use my hand in a minute. So the last thing we're going to... So let's see what we've done. We've done the mixed nuts, a cup and a half, um, a, a cup of mixed holiday, some pure orange extracts, some Himalayan salt and some cacao powder. The last thing we need to add is a half a cup, uh, three quarters of a cup of coconut oil. I'll write all this down, don't worry, it'll be under. So I've already done this um, from when I was doing my uh, mixed dates. So I've got this measured out already. <sighs> Stress. <laughs> Stress. So get these going. Now, I'm going to use my hand in a minute. I'm just trying to not get my hands as messy as possible. So add the coconut oil and then give it a really good mix. Okay. Now, these are going to keep you on track. They're going to be a right little treat if you're going for dinner tomorrow somewhere. Or if you've got friends who you know like to keep healthy. i tell you what's an amazing idea. Making all of these balls that, that I've showed you in the past. So the one with the almonds and all of these things. Making them and making them in the little boxes. And then putting some ribbons around and having them as extras as Christmas presents. It's a really nice gift. You know how you get the homemade chocolates. You can also get them little cake baskets. You've seen Sean using them little tiny cake baskets. You can make circle balls and put them in there. And then put them in a little box. 
such a nice gift. I'd appreciate that gift. Right, I'm going to try this because I want to make sure I put enough orange in it. Oh, <laughs> tastes like chocolate orange. It's mint. It's so mint. Right. Oh my god, it's mint. Tastes like chocolate. It full on tastes like you eat a chocolate orange. Right. Okay, here is the part that's very important. You need to get fresh coconut. So you can either get a coconut, which takes forever, or you can buy fresh coconut like this. You can get everywhere now, okay? Fresh coconut is the pièce de résistance of this. What you need to do is you need to get some fresh coconut, put it in your blender, don't worry about, she was like, grate some fresh coconut. Oh, that. What, to roll how many balls in? I'm not grating that much for coconut. I'm a Nutribull in. Just get it in your whacker. Whack it in. So, fresh coconut anyway is the bomb. <laughs> so, fresh coconut. Got it? Here it is. It's amazing. You can use the tub that you got as your roller. So, are we ready for this awesomeness? This is how this is going to go. You're going to get one. First of all, wet your hands. If you wet your hands this makes it a lot easier so wet your hands what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one of your balls make it into a ball like this so this is your protein ball to start which tastes like a chocolate orange and then you're gonna roll it in fresh coconut which is just freaking epic anyway now if you've got coconut flakes it is kind of the same, but it's not the same. And then you're going to pop it on a plate. So I'm going to do a few more. <sighs> God, these taste amazing. These taste amazing, believe me. So excited about the whole situation. If you use the same ingredients that I'm using, you will be loved forever when you give these to all your mates that are in the gym. Okay, so... I'm on it. I'm making them and then I'm going to bring them up closer, don't worry. Make sure. Make sure that there's no pips in there. Make sure there's just right, nice, edible, chocolatey, orangey, beautifulness going on. I'm just putting, rolling the balls in the coconut. If you just roll them around just like that, then it covers all of it for you. Oh my lord. Okay, I'll just do one more. You can hear them all in the living room. They're playing snap. <laughs> okay, so we are making amazing chocolate orange protein balls right now. And they honestly, if you use fresh coconut on the outside, oh, it is a game changer, believe me. So, let me just wipe my hands. I'll show you up close what we have done today. Hello! <laughs> yeah, you have to wet your hands because it stops the, um, it stops the, uh, the, uh, oh, okay, she means it dirty, but if you wet your hands, it stops the, the thing sticking to your hands. So here we go. This is how they look. So we've got medulla dates, three types of nuts, coconut oil, orange extracts, and cacao powder. And they are covered in fresh coconut. And I can tell you right now, these are the bomb. I'm gonna post the um, recipe above this video. I'll go back into it. And I will put this recipe on. These honestly will get you through any midday slump that you have had. They are absolutely amazing they taste like 
chocolate orange. They, if you have fresh coconut over the top, they are mint. And they make the best gift. If you make like four or five or six of them, put them in a little box. Or if you're going around for Thanksgiving, you can take them and they are unbelievable. And you can make loads of them as well. So I'm going to quickly go over that recipe again. So you've got one cup of medulla dates, so the big fat dates. One and a half cups in total of pistachios, pecans and almonds. Then you've got, um, oh, I've got to wrote it down. Three quarters of a cup of coconut oil, half a cup of cacao powder, but if you don't want it to be dead chocolatey, just ease back on that. About two teaspoons of orange extract, so there you go. It doesn't taste the same with vanilla or anything like that, we've tried it. <coughs> <coughs> Got a bit of coconut in my throat. And then um, about maybe one, one and a half to two teaspoons of Himalayan salts, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Got some coconut in my throat. So, then you roll them in fresh coconut. Don't, if you have to buy the packet coconut, do it. But if you roll it in fresh coconut, it's a game changer. This is what makes this so much nicer. So, if you have fresh coconut, smash it. There they are. Look at them. They will keep you on track. They are going to be awesome if you want it as a pudding. If you want just something dead sweet. These are the things that are going to be the difference between you getting to your goal and not getting to your goal. So if you want to follow the meal plan, um, you can head to bodyrock.tv. The meal plan is there. There's loads of good recipes just like this one. If you want to try these, make them, tag them on my Instagram. You can make a load of them. Make sure you put them in the fridge so they go nice and hard. Um, and they are there. They're all ready to go. So if you want some, they look like a brawn from a shop. Oh, they look so professional. I'm so proud of them. Look. Da, 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 da. So there you go. So they are going to be another treat that you can have that's going to keep you on track. It's going to keep you motivated. And more, more importantly, stop you from falling off the wagon. You don't want to be eating Mars bars. You don't want to be eating all of those things. Make your own. Make your own stuff like this. It's amazing. You can prep it. The kids will love to do it with you. And that's it. All done. So enjoy them. I am going to see you probably maybe tomorrow um if not i'll definitely see you on monday bye hi annabelle bye bye everybody bye